Climbing a mountain can mean first and foremost to be in prayer and in silence. It can be on a mountain or a hill, forest or a desert, a seashore or a garden. It can be a church or even your room. And most importantly, within your own self. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Mountains have been always considered a very special place, a special dwelling place of God. And mountains were very significant in the life of Jesus too. Because Jesus often climbed the mountain on several occasions. And for the first time we see Jesus on the mountain in his temptation narratives. And afterwards we see Jesus almost every day climbing the mountain to pray and to be with his Father. And Jesus teaching and healing the people. Sermon on the Mount. Jesus feeling pity for the people who are coming towards him for they were like sheep without shepherd. And Jesus was feeding the five thousand and more and Jesus was transfigured at Mount Tabor. And we see Jesus carrying his cross to Mount Calvary. And then finally Jesus on the mountain before being ascended to his heavenly Father. And in today's Gospel, which is taken from St. Mark chapter 3 verses from 13 to 19, we see Jesus climbing the mountain and then choosing his apostles and calling them to climb the mountain up to him that he might send them out on missions. Because an apostle is one who is called to be sent on a mission. And Jesus was teaching them the lesson that every apostle need to climb the mountain before being sent out on a mission. My dear friend, we too need to climb the mountain often especially before being sent out on a mission or a ministry. Climbing the mountain can mean first and foremost to be in prayer and in silence. It can be on a mountain or a hill, forest or a desert, a seashore or a garden. It can be a church or even your room. And most importantly, within your own self because that is where we meet the Divine Presence. That is where we experience the power and energy and that's where we get great ideas to be creative and effective in our journey of life and mission and ministry. Climbing the mountain also signifies our journey towards God. And that is one of the reasons why we make our pilgrimage most often to mountains. A friend sings, I climb the mountains, my heart soars. Touching the heaven, my chains are broken. I have been set free to dance in the presence of my king. Uninhibited, unconstrained, to sing his praises. Free to dance, free to sing in the glory of my king. Tears run down, I am undone that this holy God speaks to me, that he would show himself to me, his servant. I have seen the glory of God. My dear friend, come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. There, the divine love waits for you and for me. May the love of Christ redeem us. Amen. <music>